so I actually woke up quite late today I think I woke up at around like 8 45 or something and normally I am at the hospital at like 9 9 15 so when I woke up today I don't know I just didn't feel like going to the hospital man I don't know why so I just you know did not go <laughs> to be very honest I'm really disappointed in myself for not going because you know I'm actually paying the hospital money like ten dollars per day for, for the supervision that they're providing me but like Oh, I'm, I'm sort of disappointed in myself, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Uh, so it's a disappointing, it's a really disappointing start to the day, but hopefully I will try and make it better by doing something other, doing something uh, productive, you know, because there's, there's a lot of pending stuff that I have to get done with, for example, responding to emails and new messages and DMs on Instagram. I also have to, um, you know, uh, yeah, uh, book my tickets and plan my trip to Zanzibar and Mikumi, you know, try and sort out the dates, the, the, look at the prices, book a hotel and all that stuff. So maybe I will try and get, no not maybe, not maybe, I will get all that work done today because I was so lazy that I did not go to the hospital so I have to compensate for that. So I spent the last couple of hours trying to book my trip to Zanzibar and I finally landed on a date and also reserved my hotel or Airbnb booking over there for two nights. So I'll be traveling there on the 31st of January till the, uh, till the 2nd of February. So like it will be a two night stay, like two nights and three days. Um, so that at least I accomplished one thing today, you know, because I had such a bad feeling for not going to the hospital today, man. Um, and I've also been looking into the safari tours, the packages and stuff like that. I haven't made up my mind yet about which package I'm going to choose and w which days I'm going to, uh, which uh, I'm going to go there. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully, um, I will do it like this week. So it actually rained today, and it's still drizzling a little bit. Um, practically my first rain here in Tanzania. So it's time to hit the gym, and I'm probably going to be training legs. Um, I haven't hit my legs for like I think the past five six days. Um, because I've been training over my upper body, I've been really um, prioritizing my upper body but that's obviously not good because I already have chicken legs from before so I need to improve my legs. Anyway, let's crack out a workout now before I then head out. Yeah. I'm not disappointed in myself anymore because yeah the disappointment was due to the fact that you know okay, I'm here and I have nothing else to do you know I have to be in the hospital to learn and to gain experience uh, but then again I had to do some stuff as well like you know planning my trip to Zanzibar and also planning my trip to the, planning my trip to the uh, safari and as I already told you I have planned my Zanzibar tour so I'm gonna be going there for uh, on the 31st of January I'll be staying there till the 2nd of February and also, also, I have also now completed the booking for my safari tour to Mikumi National Park, which is, I think, around a five-hour drive from here in Dar es Salaam. So I'll be there for two nights and three days, and uh, the pick and drop will also be um, done by the by, by the, the the guide, the tour guide, or like the agency. So it's not really a flop day, I guess. And also, I was planning to, you know, head outside maybe to the Cape Town Fish Market, which I've heard has a beautiful beautiful view of you know the, the sea the ocean and sunset um but i don't know if i feel like going out today i don't know why i just feel like staying at home and relaxing and uh maybe i'll head there on friday you know on the weekend So there is this really famous Pakistani vlogger called Irfan Jurejo. He's like the pioneer of daily vlogs in Pakistan. And today, since I had no content to film, I was actually sitting in my bed all day long and thinking, how can I make my content interesting? Or how can I make a story out of my everyday life when I basically have nothing to do? For example, today, I did not go to the hospital. I did not do anything else apart from just laying in my bed, having food, yeah, planning my trip to Zanzibar, of course, and hitting the gym. 
the problem is that okay how do i make this interesting and this is when i started what binge watching irfan junejo's videos like his oldest videos the ones he put out in his very first days and i was actually shocked to see the quality of the storytelling the quality of his editing and by the way he was also making daily vlogs so i was you know expecting the quality to do to be like very like fairly like substandard not substandard but like nothing exceptional but he shocked me because the quality was actually pretty freaking amazing and this made me realize that okay even though my storytelling has gotten much better ever since i started youtube you know for like over one and a half year ago uh, and i've still learned a lot but still you know there is such a long way to go man i mean there this this is just an endless ocean of of you know of videography of the art of storytelling and you always need to acquire more and more knowledge and on that very note let's end today's vlog and here is the link to all the other episodes in my medical elective in tanzania series and smash and punch that subscribe button if you haven't done that already before i punch you i'm <laughs> just kidding i won't punch you guys anyway guys take care that's it for day 14 i'll see you on day 15